All right, so I just got done watching Aquaman for the second time, and I have to say, that movie is amazing. Yeah, I could sit here and be a hater and like talk about all the stuff that was wrong with it, but I'd rather sit here and talk about all the stuff that was right with it. For me, personally, I thought it was by far the best DC movie ever made. It was like the gift that just keeps on giving. You got Ocean Master, you got Black Mana, you got everything you could ever ask for in one movie. I don't know how you do a sequel to that because my Aquaman itch has definitely been scratched and I don't know how they could ever beat that movie. That movie was just nerd movie perfection. I not only liked it better than any DC movie ever made, I liked it better than half of the Marvel movies ever made. That was like Star Wars when Star Wars used to be cool. You know, before D before Disneyland got a hold of Star Wars and like ruined it, it was like old school Star Wars, but with even better special effects. Please go see that movie because it is really good. And now we're gonna check out the Amazon exclusive Volco figure. We got him on the shark. We've already reviewed him. Let's just find our side by side, <coughs> a side by side comparison. And then we got him here in his plain clothes. We'll check this out. <laughs> All right, so here's this Volco out of the package. You see he's standing right about six and a half inches tall, which I guess that's pretty good. Maybe a little too tall, but I'm cool with it. He does come with the drawings. It comes with uh, Trident, the ultimate Trident. And if you've seen the movie, you know what this is. If you haven't seen the movie, well, turn this video off and go see the movie because it's the best DC movie ever made, ever. The movie's amazing. Here's these blank on the other side, the drawings on this side. Another multiverse, I actually think they hit this thing out of the park. The likeness is really good. It has a little shiny. They could have did a little bit more wrinkles on his face, but I guess, you know, they're trying to make him feel young again. He does have a man bun. He had a man bun in the movie, so we'll go ahead and let him slide on that. He comes with a sword that he might have used, like, one time in the movie. He should have came with his staff, like that purple staff that he fought Aquaman with or trained Aquaman with. That would have been a really cool accessory. Maybe at the time when they made this, they didn't know that that was going to be his accessory, and that's why they gave him the sword instead. But the sword is cool. The detail on this thing, I think they're really doing a good job. The paint job, also, they're doing a good job. They have a nice little wash. Tons of little extra detail. This is an original one-off sculpt. Once again, they're killing it. The articulation on this, you got single elbow here, which to me, I like because there's no pinholes. Really clean the shoulder that could be a little bit better with that joint that comes down. I don't like that. So that's room for improvement there. And then you have the double knee. And this is this is what I want to no pin. Double knee and plenty of movement. The knee goes all the way up. Really good job on that. God, I just wish Marvel Avengers and everybody else doing action figures would get on board with the no pin thing. You can do it. It's awesome. It's great. On the ankles, it goes back and forth all the way and then has a, a kind of a weird rocker pivot on it. It works. I don't know. Everybody wanted it. You got it. I'm glad, you know, that's kind of cool. We'll do a side-by-side -side with this guy. This is like the $10 one. This one comes with the hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark's way too small. I don't even think he rides a hammerhead shark in the movie. Maybe he does for a second. And if you guys have seen the movie, you know that, man, they can make like three or four more sets with this. I'd like to have that big alligator thing that they swim on. I'd like to have that big um, seahorse thing that they swim on. All we got was a hammerhead shark that's too small and a great white shark, which is actually a pretty cool toy. For the price, this one's good. For the price, this one's also good. I really like this action figure. Before I saw the movie, I didn't really feel like I needed it. After I saw the movie... I thought that he was great. And then you have him here in a regular plain clothes. For some reason, he's got a green goblin mask sitting on the chair. That doesn't come off the chair. But if you push the chair down, little bonus. I don't know if you guys have this action figure. If you don't, you need to buy this action figure because this thing is amazing. Because it does this. You push the cushion down. I thought the eyes were supposed to light up, but... <laughs> the world will be yours and mine. Can Spider-Man come out to play? 
I guess I don't. I thought I did it before and then lit up. Maybe it's broken. The world will be yours and mine. Can Spider Man come out to play? If they don't light up, it really sucks. But this is a cool action figure. I love the chair. I love that he comes with it. Just figure I'd throw that in. That's the video. There's a the collection. Make this thing short. Thanks for watching.